Greetings and welcome to another Diablo 2 Resurrected video. Today I want to show you the Fists of Heaven Paladin or Hoden, how some people call it. And let's get right into the skills. I put 20 into Holy Bolt, 20 into Fists of Heaven, and one into all the prerequisites. And my remaining points into Holy Shield, because I also put in 20 points into Holy Shock and 20 points into Conviction, which is our main aura which we will be using because it lowers the resistances from enemy monsters by 150 percent which helps the holy uh, sorry the lightning damage from fist of heavens for the holy bolt damage it's uh, considered holy damage or magic damage that only damages demons and undeads the conviction aura will not help but um, again for the lightning damage it will help uh, for defensive auras i've put in nothing and as for the gear, I have a spirit, uh, spirit sword, I have a lower helmet, I have an amulet with resistances, it even has barbarian skill levels, I just put on anything I could find. I have a spirit shield, I have a smoke armor, I have inferno strides, I have a manalt, gold wrap, a rare ring with some resistance on it, chance guards, and no charms at all. For the attributes, I have enough strength to equip my gear and the rest into vitality after I put in points into dexterity to reach 75% block with holy shield. So you want to use your holy shield first and then put in points in dexterity until you reach chance to block 75%. As for the mercenary, he has an insight in a non-ethereal thrasher, a treachery rune word in his Body armor, you can also use smoke, and he has a Talwasha's mask because uh, it has life leech on, which is very important. But most of the time, your Merc will die anyways because he is under heavy fire from the Hydras. So let's start a Trabinkle run. Don't forget to buff your Holy Shield. I also have a Teleport Staff on the offhand to make things a bit easier. You can shop these at Ormus. And here you can see the Merc already died. But you can still manage to kill the council. Uh, I think I, make a, I made a small mistake then in teleporting right into all of them. Let's uh, do that again and see how it goes if we try to approach them a little bit better. So let's try that again and maybe approach the cast from a different angle, like here, and they are all inside. You can just start spamming. And again, they have Conviction Aura, it's, uh, it's pretty unlucky, because then your mercenary just straight up dies. But you can still... Clear it without the mercenary. And here's another monster. Or maybe I saw that wrong with the conviction, or it could be that it was uh, my own, but. I need to be aware if uh, the council runs conviction or not. So I think this is a pretty good build for running Travinkle. We could also do like Eldritch and Shank. So Eldritch and Shank um, are pretty straightforward. Just run up to it and spam your Fist of Heavens. And you have to remember that Fist of Heavens does single target lightning damage and all the Holy Balls do Holy Magic damage, which only affects demons and undeads. So that's important to, to remember. That means that you won't be able to clear cows or cow level in a reasonable manner because you're just doing lightning damage to them. Cows are considered animal type and there are not demons and not undead. So you have to pick your farming spots wisely. And I think this is a pretty neat build. 
that now works very well in certain areas. But let's compare it to the hammer limb, shall we? So as for the typical hammer limb build, I have the same gear uh, as before, but I've put in 20 points in the vigor, 20 points in the blessed aim, 20 points in the concentration, 20 points in the hammers, and the rest into holy shield, which amounts to around 147% dex with this shield equipped to reach maximum block. Rest into vitality, of course, and enough strength to equip my gear. But as I said, it's the same gear as before. So let's see how the Hammerdin works on the Travinkel. And we can also teleport up there again. Maybe clear out this champion pack first. And make sure you are up close. Properly hit the council members. Now, this is a bad spot right here. They're like uh, 10 Hydras. So you might wanna just lure them out one by one. And then it's nice and easy. And that's it. They're done. Let's do a second run for a better comparison. So, as for the second run, I decided to not revive a mercenary. Um, then I don't need to teleport in because I don't need to have him here. And let's see how it goes. So you have to be careful of the Hydras. They might overwhelm you, but then just take a few steps back. The council will come to you and just kill them one by one. Or on two packs on three of packs and nice and easy and i think this is more easy than the fist of heaven build um, because the hammers just do insane damage it's like over 5k with budget gear and i could do shank and eldritch now but i think uh, you can imagine that this is a, also a very easy kill so i'm gonna save you that and yeah, that's the Foden versus the Hammerdin on Travinkle. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. And I see you in the next video. Goodbye.